What a week. Donald Trump taking to social media this week to quickly counterattack Jeb Bush's attack ad against him on social media. So Trump and others using the virtually free virtual medium to get their message out and gather support. While no one seems to do it better than the Donald, Steve, is this another reason why we don't need campaign finance laws? Well, campaign uh, finance law shouldn't be there anyway, whether you have social media or not. Social media is replacing traditional press releases. People watch social media, they don't read press releases, and Donald recognized that before the others. But even if you didn't have social media, you're still going to have to use field forces, you're still going to have to use polls and other traditional things, newspapers and the like, if you're going to wage a long national True. campaign. And as, for, and as for laws, David, they have about the same effect as Kleenex stopping the flow of the Mississippi River. Get rid of them. <laughs> I guess the point that's a that's a good visual image but mark isn't it ironic mark that the candidates with the most amount of money right now hillary and bush are going down the fastest it's not helping them it's not helping them uh social media isn't helping them well, and social know. media is paid is paid for by big big corporations and big special interests but it doesn't cost any money no 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 it no, it, no. It, social it does, media no, no, doesn't no. cost hiring, trump a dime we're hiring firms we're hiring firms that are putting putting this stuff out i mean it's people it's no. people it's not john, done by a john, computer the fact is, and, is that, and our our okay. system is broken okay David, gotcha but john the fact is is that the money that these candidates are spending on social media is not Nothing, nothing compared to the ads that you have to put on television. Exactly, and of course they can all pay for this social media, so, so we, can't, we can't blame it on one. But the main point here that Steve gets at is that we shouldn't have laws on campaign finance. That violates our right to free speech. And as he also points out, it doesn't keep money from reaching politics. But there's an obvious unintended consequence, precisely because politicians ha can only get uh, 2000 from e each donation from big names. They're spending lots of times with rich people, whereas if they didn't have those limits, they could spend and more time with voters. That's true. Rich, the fact is, is that the laws meant to keep big money out of politics haven't worked since McCain fined at gold. That, that was the law, the big law that was so, supposed to stop big money in politics. Look so what's happened since then. A lot more money has gone in politics since that law was put into place. Uh, Steve is right. It's unstoppable. People are creative. They'll find ways to get money to their candidates. But I am for transparency. For example, Larry Ellison gave $3 million to Marco Rubio. I, I, a, I think that's fine. But B, I think everybody should know that's the fact. So, Kerry, just put the information out there and let the voters decide. Yeah, I mean, I'm all, I agree. I'm all, I, Rich, Rich is right. We need to have transparency. But look, in the grand scheme of things, Americans spend more on chewing gum than on running our national system for the most powerful country in the world. Let's put that in perspective. Let's also talk about the fact that Bernie Sanders, Mr. Socialist, benefits from free social media. So he's the one who's whining about the influence of money, but social media makes him relevant against Hillary Clinton, who is a multimillionaire, right. despite what she says about being dead Well, broke. Sabrina, what I love is the irony of the, of the richest guy in a race, Donald Trump, who has billions of dollars, spending almost nothing and getting huge amount of traction with those social media ads. Well, right. I mean, first of all, I think John put all of this, he said it perfectly. I couldn't have said it better. But I think, David, you're right. And there's a lot of people who are going to jump on that and say, see, we don't need money in politics because look what Donald Trump could do. But I, I couldn't disagree more. For starters, just a bare bones, we have actually no real evidence about how the impact that, that social media is right. having on get out the vote efforts. Um, there's going to be a lot of studies done, I'm sure, this, this season. But we don't really know that there's an impact. And it doesn't really matter. If people want to spend their money on TV ads and giving kickbacks to consultants, and whatnot, fine, let them do that. But if they want to spend it on social media, they should be allowed to do that and too. Mark, the fact look is that at the, talk about money. impact. Look at the <laughs> lack of impact that, that McCain Feingold, a bipartisan measure meant to kept, keep all the big money out of politics. It hasn't and worked. We've gone in exactly the no. opposite direction. Yes, we the have. Laws, we showed the, the figures. Laws, the laws have not worked, and we no longer have a democratic system. The 400 richest people. So we're not have voting for people 50, anymore. 50 per, no, we're not. 50 percent. <laughs> 50 percent of the money for the Republican and the Democratic candidates up now on the slate have been given by the 400 richest Americans. So who do you think is going to get res the response Wait a minute. once Hold they on get it? Steve Forbes, the fact the is, checks. Bernie Sanders, who's a, a socialist, uh, according to Mark's liking, is getting tremendous traction without using a lot of money by using social media. 
Well, that's true. And in terms of uh, people wanting, again, to give contributions, you're going to need, in this, as this campaign progresses, David, social media is not going to cut it alone. You're going to need right. operatives on the ground that's to get true. out the vote. You've got to get your message out in various ways to all kinds of people. And so you need the resources to do it. Make it open. And people have always given to politics. Going back 200 years, we have had a democracy it's that long. And, and there are two things against coming up with more laws, big uh, money campaign rules. finance laws, Kerry. One is that the current law laws aren't working and two social media is working and it doesn't cost a lot of money yeah let's talk about Eric Cantor he is out of uh -huh. office thanks to social media let's talk about candidates who have spent millions of dollars uh -huh. Carly Fiorina has spent a ton of money Meg Whitman just because you spend money doesn't mean okay. you're going to win quick last word to Sabrina go ahead yeah, I couldn't agree more with Kerry. I was actually going to say earlier that I think sometimes the candidates with the most money are the ones who are overhandled and mess things up the most. So let's see, uh, let's see how things you know, turn out this All time. All right. <laughs> Last word to Sabrina, the cash in gang, getting to roll at the bottom of the hour. Eric, what do you got? Hey, David, cops under attack from violence to violent rhetoric and now falling police recruitment numbers. We analyze this dangerous and costly trend in America. Plus, we're hitting the streets this Labor Day weekend. What do Americans really think about raising the minimum wage to 15 bucks an hour? Find out at 1130. Eric, thank you. We will be watching. But up here first, the fight's not over. A judge may have sacked Tom Brady's four-game suspension. But now the NFL is trying to sack that decision with an appeal. Is it time to end this costly fight for the fans once and for all? We debate it. Coming next.